So it's actually a, a really interesting point that, that also we're seeing is that um, when children uh, and, and adults, uh, young adults go to university is there is a big disconnect between what their lecturer, for example, would see as a useful technology experience in that course uh, versus what they would expect. Um, we've been doing a thing called the Real-Time Generation Survey for the last seven years where we interview uh, about a thousand 13 to 17 year olds every year. Um, the first survey seven and a half, eight years ago, well, there was an aspiration amongst the, 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 the kids then, 13, 13 year olds, about what they'd get when they got to university. It's not an aspiration anymore, it's just expected. Um, when we go and talk to our university customers, and we're really big in the university sector in the UK, is the biggest challenge for IT is getting academics to adopt just the basics of social technology. Um, the good news is kids are just doing it for themselves. So, so um, they're going to use technology to learn whether the lecturer thinks it's a good idea or not. But I, I think that will inhibit. I mean, you go to the US, um, we're doing a lot of work in South America. Um, Every single school child in Paraguay has now got a laptop. Every school in Paraguay is connected via high definition telepresence. So kids do English lessons at nine years old with someone around the world. So that, that, that ability for the, the, the educators to embrace and engage through these kind of technologies with, with students is going to be key. Not because the kids won't do it themselves, but it will, it will when they get into business, they'll understand how to, how to formally engage with business people around some of these technologies, which is kind of that social hierarchy piece that I think is missing from universities today. The first step would be for, for businesses to approach us and tell us what they need and what they expect in terms of a student leaving university today to come forward and help us develop appropriate courses, deliver appropriate courses, um, so that students are fit for purpose when they go out into the world of employment.